We're kind of the new kids on the block with the state championship. Teams think that we shouldn't have won. Teams think that we shouldn't have made it there. This is kind of like, you know, the bow on the, on the present, the icing on the cake, if you will, for something that these kids worked so hard for. We've been chasing these other programs, and now the, the role's kind of flipped. Now we have multiple enemies. Everybody's going to want to play you. Three, two, one. Congrats. People are coming for us. We're the hunted right now, we got the target on our back, but if we're hunting you first, it doesn't matter. Why do you keep coming out here and then doing this and running out of bounds? That's silly. That's dumb football. He's really quiet. Like, you won't hear him a lot sometimes, but like, when, he, when he's upset, you're gonna hear him. Dumb. And you're gonna know he's there. Fix it. Basha was, uh, they were having a, a, a rough time. We'll just say they were having a rough time. They changed coaches. Coach McDonald comes in and completely takes it over, flips the program around, literally on its head. There were a lot of people outside in the world who were like, you know, this is a premier region job. It's one of the top jobs in the state. You know, how does a guy who spends a couple years at Maricopa get this? We had a lot to clean up and a lot to, um, there, there was a lot to do for us to get to where we wanted to be. And when we first got here, it was a, it was a graveyard. <laughs> But not anymore. <laughs> Congratulations, you are state champs. Last year's team was, was real special. Had lots of talent across the board, good senior leadership, and just a magical run. What are we doing? How do we not know Buck? We're done talking about last year because that was last year's team and this is a brand new team. We're going to find out if your brick belongs in a wheelbarrow. This is a journey, it's a process, one day at a time, one percent at a time. We understand that? Yes, sir. We got targets on our back, we understand that, but it doesn't matter if we're hunting them first, right? HTF. Do we understand that? Yes, sir. If you really buy what we're selling, and you really want to be a part of this, it's something special. We got to lay the foundation, put up the framing, we've got to do everything the same. It starts right now by committing to this thing and getting your butt in a wheelbarrow. If we do what we're supposed to do, everyone's gonna eat. Heavy hands, violent hands, gentlemen. We have a new team, new puzzle with pieces that we've gotta to put together. Run the wheel over here. Everybody understand? Man, it's tough because uh, they, lost, they lost a lot of uh, seniors from last year's team. I do not know how the hierarchy of our varsity football team is right now. A lot of good, a lot of bad, a lot of ugly. Do not pull up short through the line. I have a tough schedule, so it'll be interesting to see how fast they can grow. If we can't stay on our track, and we can't catch, and we may not know how to block, and we may not know where to run to, and we haven't practiced yet, <coughs> I don't know where we stand. We've had a lot of kids that have been out due to injury, some severe injuries. And then doctor should be very soon to go over the results with you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I've never been sat down this long. It sucks, honestly, like, I wanna play. Thank you. That thing is still just barely holding on. But if you play really hard and you get tackled somehow, it snapped. It I want to play. Okay. When I found it was broken, I went to x-ray. He goes, all right, I think this can heal on its own. Just stay off of it. It didn't heal, really. Okay. Right now, my opinion is, I don't want you to play. Okay.
Miles is probably our biggest injury going into week one. He's one of the top prospects in the state. I mean, that's, that's a huge loss. I need to be there for at least the third game. Yeah. At least the third game. Because that's the world. I got to be playing. Oh. Rematch of the championship, so definitely got to be in that game. Can I, like, wait for the surgery after season? Like, can I play on it broken? I can play through it this season, just get surgery right after the season. Because what happened right now, where the break is, your body is trying to heal this, you got scar tissue there. Basically, the part that I broke is connected to a tendon, and if it keeps separating, my bone's gonna die. So, how much would he miss the entire season? Yeah, so I miss a big chunk of the season. Oh, oh, down that way. Yes. This way, this way. Oh! I'm not sure if I understand the shadow boxing game. <laughs> Quite frankly, when I see it, I first think that there's like a fight that's about to break yeah. out. Down here. It's it's just weird that they're like pretending to hit one another and acting as if they've been hit by the other. It's just fake fighting. Um, they boxing each other without hitting each other. And they really into it around here these days. The way they unwind, I think. I mean, I see them doing it, and I just kind of shake my head. Um, I don't know. I'm just like, okay, as long as you're not hitting each other and you're having a good time with it, I'm okay with it. Yeah. <laughs> Got you, boy. You thought you knew, but you don't. You don't. I don't know how it's scored. I don't know who keeps score. I don't know how they don't just argue about that all, the, all day long. Wait, <laughs> right but it, is this, it, that's not right my back, fault. Right back, right that's back, not right my back, fault, right though. Back. I don't know the rules. So you're trying to get whoever you're playing to look the same direction. You're trying to anticipate which way he looks. Down. Oh. And if you don't get him, it switches to the next person, restarts completely. You have to anticipate the way that the guy looks every single time, three times in a row. As long as they're not hitting each other, we're all good. We're all good. What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? 816. So this is the first time that they've been up to Camp Tanazono. Everybody knows Camp T if you've lived here long enough. You know what Camp T represents. It's kind of like the mecca, if you will, of where you go to, to do football camp. It's kind of a grow up thing. You want to get them to get away from home, to kind of mature on their own, to develop. We didn't come out here to do army drills. We came out here to get better at football. Be disciplined in what you do. If you want us to do army drills because you guys can't be on time, then, then we're gonna have issues. Guys, there's bears all around us. I don't wanna see no bear. Terrified. Not going outside at night. You just gotta be faster than the, <laughs> the man next to me, so you gotta take off. I really hope everybody makes it, but you know, I'm gonna make it for sure. So what we don't want to do is have food and garbage out in the forest in the camp. Oh uh, yeah, I'm not rocking with it, bro. I'm not rocking with it, bro. Really, it's just about building friendships, building bonds here. It's not really about working ourselves to the ground. Okay. Yeah, we good? good. We live. Is it good? We, we live. All right. Did you give your can? Did, did, yeah, did you get my honest opinion? Did you get your honest opinion at? No, I didn't. I will give you okay. my honest opinion. So who we here with? We here with who? We here with Lock. You feel me? Miles Lock Cart. You feel me? Right, right, right. Um, man, you feel me? I'm not really messing with the can too much. No, know? no, I'm not. I don't want to get home. Yeah. To be for real, you know what I'm saying? Get some food. But it's three days. Yeah, it's not that bad. You feel yeah. Me? I mean, it's pretty though. You feel me? We pretty. It's a nice little feel. The little. The, you got the, yeah, we got the forest little, view. Let's go. Hey, this one you got suck it up. You guys are tired? Suck it up. Let's go. Let's go. Work. Let's go, Brody. Our goal is to get back there. That's where we want to be. Um, it's not going to be easy. We're a different football team. We're still a good football team, but we're a different football team. 
you got to be tight right on the hip, right. and especially if he goes down. Like, like this. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. And you want to scoot out just a little bit more. But when I go down, you want to come right at my hip. Come on, be an athlete, be an athlete, let's go. Your stomach's messed up? Mm hmm You had the pasta? You had the meatballs? Oh yeah, the meatballs right there, that'll do it to you, that'll kill you. Oh, the breakfast this morning, it looked good. It, it, it did look like it had some potential. It was pancakes, eggs, hash browns, and sausage. And it did not taste like what I thought it was gonna taste like. That's horrible effort. That's horrible effort. Uh oh, they getting you to. You can't play defense if you're gonna give that effort. There's a lot of football being taught, but there's also a lot of team bonding events going on. And <laughs> Coach Maddox does a phenomenal activity with them each night that, you know, challenges them. You have the ability right here within you to help your team. They, they, they have to look deep into their, you know, their person, their, their fears, their phobias, their, um, the things they're most proud of. Uh, and it's revealing. In building the chemistry of this team for this year, we've got to know each other well. I come to you and come your cup. I want you to look at the person on your right and say, I got you. I got you. I got you. Coach Mack likes to make sure that we build that, that bond as a real team, because at the end of the day, that's really what it is. If you're working with that synergy um, as a team, that's what, that's what makes championships. All right, we're going to creek side cabin. We got four bedrooms, two bathrooms, but like, 40 30, beds. 30, 35, 40 beds. Come on, come on, come Welcome to the crib. Come, come check it out, come check it out. There's a lot of people here right now. Oh, he's here. So this is the main, this is the main area where like everybody sleeps in. All that, you know. This is what we talking about. It's not very spacious. It's not very spacious at all. Too many, too many bodies. I've been in different camps as a player, as a coach. Um, this is the camaraderie, you hear it back here. This is, you know, downtime. We've just had a great practice and now they get to hang out and, and do stuff that they don't normally do on the football field. You know, that ties the team together. I got into football because my dad played football. When I was really young, I saw a picture of him playing. I was like, I really want to start playing that sport. Just wanted to be like him a little bit when I grow up. Not fresh doesn't eat her food. Oh, yes, that bowl. So I knew probably when he was about four. Yeah, yeah. I, I, he just seemed to be moved different than little toddlers. He did. He, he was more coordinated. I have 24. I have 24 offers. I have um, Ohio State, Texas A&M, uh, Wisconsin, Washington, Oregon, Utah. I got a, yeah, I got a good amount. You know, I'm blessed. I'm, so, I'm, I'm blessed. coming to the Ohio State University. Where he's trying to go, everybody's talented. So uh, what separates is, I think, 
his ability and willingness to work. He's a multi-sport athlete. Um, unfortunately, you know, broke his foot, you know, and so that process I know is kind of weighing on him a little bit. Really, I don't even know how I broke it. Uh, I was running track and it started bothering me. Just like, it felt like it was being squeezed, really. It didn't really feel broken. Damn, boy. That hip, man. Oh, shit. Right. I just decided to do the surgery after my second opinion, and I really just wanted to get that done uh, as fast as possible because I was already behind. Hey, Puffs. Good. How you feeling? Good. They took bone marrow out of his hip. And they put it in this. That's what they did. Center. It's, it's so sore, thing. bro. Yeah. And they shot it into it's his, sore. His hip yeah, is worse than his hip is sore. Right now. But I was lucky, like shaking before. Yeah, surgery. he was real nervous. Yeah. How is his body going to recover from the surgery, right? And it could be a great prognosis and it could be a bad one and I, I just think time will tell. This team doesn't need me, you know, like they're they're fine on their own. I, I'd say one, two, maybe three games at the most, but he'll he'll be ready. He'll be ready to go. Um, he'll be ready to go probably week three, week four the latest. Eli's a medium. I'm almost definitely a medium boy. Yeah, you. Yeah, it works. It's cold outside. It's hot, but it's Arizona. I got the month of May. It's gonna be hot for the next couple months, so nobody cares, right? Who on the team would you let date your daughter? I guess you say. I will not let him date my sister. I got a girl. No, I don't. I don't. What can make me feel this way? My girl, my girl. Yeah. Miles cannot date my daughter. J Howe cannot date my daughter. Spaz cannot date my daughter. Oh, Fabo cannot date my daughter. Right Talking about my girl. Jack can't date my daughter. Nick can't date my daughter. Timmy can't date my daughter. <laughs> my girl. <laughs> Chris McDonald, the head coach of the defending Open champion Basha Bears. Just kind of tell us what you've got bringing back on both sides of the ball, because it is plenty. We've been able to, to figure out some pieces. The puzzle's not completely put together, probably never will be. Let's look at this camera here. What? It's every single day, it's repeat, 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 and there's nothing else that's being talked about more. So it's, it's we're hungry, definitely. You know, it's another year, it's another team, and, and we've, we've got to prove We've got to prove once again. And that is the new AIA Open Division Trophy. And I'm not going to touch it. Don't do not it's touch it now. Hopefully you'll get to touch yeah. it on December 2nd. Journey starts now, right? Hunt them first. Let's go. <laughs> the biggest question has to be, uh, who's DeMond's new playmaker going to be? He's going to have to create a new one, right? Um, Bryson Debman's out. and. Maybe it's Geo Richardson, maybe it's Dodd. Oh! Whoever hoists us up at the end of this year is, has really earned it. I mean, I really think this year there's a lot of parity in, in, in the state. Westwood returns a lot of veterans. Uh, 14 starters return and also their 6'5", 210 pound quarterback who can sling and who can run it as well. They're bringing a lot of experience uh, into that game against Bastard. What did we talk about our team goals this week? Establish physicality, right? Settle down, settle the nerves down. Let's go, let's go red, okay? Over red, over red, no blitz. Jack, Eli, you got running back. Defense score, baby. Play at a level that they can't what? We say it all the time. Play at a level they can't play at. We should go out there and dominate. I don't need to sit here and pretend. Hit it, Noah. That's gone. That's gone. That's gone. Oh, baby, I love it. You guys know what's at stake here. You guys know the deal. 
You want to do this, this, cat call it, and pull through. Does that make sense? Yeah, he gone. That's terrible. 15 for 20. 15 for 20. Sam, you need to have a talk about that. I will talk to him. Okay. I'll talk to him. If there was ever a message that I hope burns into your brain that you remember for the rest of your life, today's going to be it. Today's the one. This is the one. They ain't going to throw it, but if they do, get a pick. <laughs> right after the bear eats is the most vulnerable time where he can be killed. And I related that to us in what way? Just one. We just ate. And the most vulnerable time in the life of a, a, a bear is when they've got all that, when they've achieved all that, when they've just eaten, and now they get tired and sleepy and want to lay down and hibernate. Don't take this for granted. We've been used to winning, but we're in a situation now where there's a temptation just to win and not to be dominant. And what that does is it opens you up to vulnerability where you get overtaken. Big three. Take a knee. Take a knee. Bears. We got to fix some things. We know that, right? We got away with some stuff that we probably wouldn't get away with against some really good teams. We've got the limelight. But if we're not careful, we can become that sleeping bear that becomes complacent and is vulnerable to being taken out. Mm -hmm.